So it's been a while since I've had a video about my Corvette. Had it a little over a year now. I figured you guys would like to hear some burble. Burble, 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 burble. Listen to that. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So, a little bit of update. I got all the suspension bushings on, except for the, sway, the uh, top part of the sway bar uh, on the front. And I'm gonna be changing that. Um, drove around a little bit, just to settle the suspension. Oh my goodness, I have Z51 shocks on it now. And I'm gonna be putting, probably gonna be putting a white racing stripe on it. Probably gonna be doing some black A molds. Uh, some Grand Sport correct. I might do 11 inch all the way around. Do like a track setup. Uh, I ordered some blue hash marks. Why? Because, well, there aren't very many of them. It tends to offend some people and you know, it'll get the car noticed. And then I put the Grand Sport badge on. Why? Because I know a few people would cry about it and it's my car. But from 30 feet away now, you can see, hey, that's not just uh, a standard Corvette. Not that I'm trying to be a Grand Sport. I'm not gonna tell people, oh, it is a Grand Sport. It's just, you know, it's my car. I, I may even put a Spider or a Ferrari sticker on the back. I don't know. Each sticker adds 15 horsepower, so yeah. So anyway, we're going by Ricer rules, you know. But anyway, yeah, listen to that thing. Gorgeous, gorgeous. One of the happiest purchases I've ever made is this car right here. My RX-7s, they are fantastic as well. But when we're coming down to brass tacks, price per enjoyment, price per smile, I guess, uh, this right here, get in it and go. And if you have the opportunity to buy a Corvette like this, I'd say do it, even if it's not an LT4, I'd say do it. Fantastic car. Anyway guys, so I got a Corvette. And this is it. <laughs>